Hi, Chris Hodrovino, Devil's Digest. Uh, just talk about what you've seen from the linebackers from day one of full camp until today. Are they progressing at the rate you expect them to with just about a week and a half before the season opener? Um, I think you just, again, our, our whole mindset is, is the depth in the group. Um, I think, uh, like I said earlier, uh, some of the younger guys are stepping up and doing a better job, and they're going to be able to contribute uh, on not only defense but in special teams, which is huge for us. So uh, Eric Gentry, uh, 18, uh, Connor Sully, 28, Will Schaefer. Um, I mean, even Jadon Williams, uh, McCullough, I think they're all starting to come along and uh, starting to get to more of the details of the game. But we just got to keep pushing and see where we go. I love it. No problem. Mask up. Stay safe. Hey, Chris. Um, as you guys start to prepare for games, the, the conversation shift at all? And in what ways? And what are the things that you're talking about with your guys? I'm um, just attention to detail, doing your job, lining up right, uh, communication. Those are very important things. I mean, not only are they important for football, but just in life in general. So uh, just being consistent again, right? Consistent communication, finish, compete at everything. I try to tell them to compete at everything. Who tackles the best? Who catches the ball the best? And uh, that way that mindset stays in them the whole time. What's your process for um, evaluating games, everybody snaps, uh, and how you communicate th that with, with the players? Well, I think the, the main thing is you earn your reps, right? So that's what we're about here, earning it. Um, and I think those guys will earn it just by continuing to be, like I said, consistent, communicating, and um, just doing the right thing every day. You want guys, I said camp was about trust, and that was kind of our theme. And our theme for the season is carpe diem. So uh, that's kind of what we go with every day. Chris, when you mentioned the, the young linebackers, it looks like maybe Will Schaefer out of that group really made the biggest jump from the spring to the fall camp. But do, do, do you agree with that? And what are the reasons for that? I would say he did for sure. And I think Connie's, Connor Sully's definitely have. And then I think Eric Gentry is starting to understand more of the details of the game because he was making some plays, but it was a lot of things that he wasn't doing. But I think he's starting to get there. And I think those guys uh, are going to allow us to rest the older guys. In order for us to be where we want to be at the end of the season, we need to be able to keep those three upright and uh, healthy throughout the season. I think those guys will be uh, formidable backups. Chris, your starting three seem to be really strong from a leadership standpoint. In fact, two of the four team captains are two of your starting linebackers. Can you talk about that unit in that uh, perspective, their leadership and the value they bring to the team as a group? Well, I think um, every day when the practice is not rolling the way it's supposed to, I can get at them. And it's not like they're going to be in their fill-ins or anything like that. They know what it is. And I think they have their goals as well of what they want to get met. And part of that is getting it done in practice every day. And the field will take care of itself, right, the, the, the game. So we got to develop our skills every day. We push hard in our, in our, in our uh, individuals. And we play at high, high speed. And we try to finish and do what we're supposed to do every day. Uh, Chris, including your, your sub packages, how many guys do you think will play a fair number of snaps? In, like in I, you know what? I don't even know. I couldn't even tell you. Um, that's up to AP. Um, of course, we discuss it or whatever, but you know that's up to the DC how he feels and how comfortable he feels with the guys and uh, what they do and earn every day in practice, right? So you earn your way on the field or you earn your way off the field. And uh, that's just basically off you watch the film and how he feels about the uh, individual. Chris, when you look at a guy like, like Eric Gentry, uh, obviously a really young player, so time is on his side to, to be more physical as his career progresses. But uh, you know, aside from the coverage skills and, and batting passes the line of scrimmage, what about the physicality aspect, the, the tackling? Have you seen uh, the progress you, you, you're looking for? I think physically he's starting to put some weight on. You know, Today he came out like, oh, you got a little chest on you, man. You're looking like you're coming along. So I, uh, Joe's doing an excellent job with him. Um, the next thing, of course, is always mentally being able to stay locked in. Um, semester, seeing how he does academically is going to say a lot too, right? Um, but I think he's growing as an individual, and I think one of the best things he did was coming in the spring, and uh, it's starting to show and help him now. Hi, Coach. Um, can you just talk about Kyle Sueli's, um growth and leadership during this training camp? Awesome. Awesome dude, man. Uh, enjoy coaching him. Uh, you know, great leader. And uh, just hearing what everybody said about him from the time he came in to who he is to now. Um, immense, immense, immense growth. And um, it's a pleasure to coach him. 
And uh, just again, I, we, we should we go out and meet all our goals and be one of the best groups in the Pac-12. That's the goal. And then, um, can you just talk about your reaction about the Conference Alliance announcement? I seen it this morning. At, uh, I was up at five, but I mean, honestly, that's how would I say that's the politics, right? And that's not that's not really what I'm in. My job is to coach this position, and um, you know, I have no feelings on it personally. If it helps us get to be in the bowl championship or a role, I mean, at the end of the day, you got to win games. So that's what it gets down to. Uh, what's your uh, feelings going into the season and coaching a position for the first time and being in a different role than your whole career? Oh, yeah. Excited. I'm excited, but, you know, a little nervous, I think, too, because you, you, you got high expectations for your guys. You want them to play at a very high level. But I think we're preparing to, for success, and that's all you can do is prepare for success. Hey, Coach Zach Keenan, Devil's Digest. I know that uh, right now Jordan Banks has been playing a couple different positions. Where do you think he fits in best? Well, um, honestly, again, that's up to the coordinator and the head coach. My, my job is to coach the linebackers um, and, and go from there. I don't, I'm not necessarily sure what his role will be, um, but that will have to come from the head man and, and the D.C. What do you think are his strongest assets to his game? Oh, I think he's an excellent pass rusher for sure. I think, um, But, again, we're about developing everything, right? You want a guy to be able to do everything so they can't key on him at one thing. So uh, that's when you look at the, the, the big three, I guess you would call them, the seniors. You see that they have a, they can do a little bit of everything. And uh, that's what you try to develop with your players. Chris, what impresses you most about Merlin Robertson? Uh, what were your preconceived notions of his play coming in? And what how has he impressed you the most? since you've been working with him? Oh, I think, I mean, as a coach, you, you don't, uh, I played the game, so you don't try to have preconceived notions. Um, but you want to see how a guy shows up every day and how he works. And I think uh, Merlin is anxious to continue to, to learn and get better. I think uh, he knows that he needs to do certain things to get to what he wants. And uh, he's, he's working for him every day. And um, I'm on his butt. I'm on, the, I'm on all the big guys. I'm on their butt. I'm on them first. So. Um, the expectations is high, and uh, we're not going to drop them or change them for nobody. Uh, Cole Topham, Devil's Digest. Coach, how have you seen yourself grow uh, in your role since you've gotten here? Just learning. Um, again, you know, being humble and, and listening and taking in from what AP's done and what Marv has done and um, trying to apply it and make sure that my players can understand what the coaches want to get done and making sure it gets done. Um, just, I mean, some stuff will be giving away secrets, right? So, um, again, it's just, yeah, it's just the, it's just the, the details, right? The details of, of, of things in the game that, uh, you may pass over at times that you see that they give you jewels on or talk about that allows you to help your team, um, your guys play better. Very good. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, thank you. Yeah,